Hello everyone, this is Preeti Garg and today I am going to teach class 10th polynomials and our today's topic is relationship between the zeros and the coefficients of a quadratic polynomial. So here we start. Now see, we have a relationship between zeros and coefficients of a quadratic polynomial. Let us take an example of a quadratic polynomial. Example. Example is 3x square plus 5x minus 2. This is a quadratic polynomial. Right? This is a quadratic polynomial. Now what we do? First we have to find the zeros of this quadratic equation. How can we find the zeros of this quadratic equation? We have done in class 9th to factorize such a polynomial by splitting the middle term. So how do we do that splitting the middle term? That whatever is the coefficient of x square, we multiply it by the constant term. That means when 3 multiplied by minus 2, we get minus 6. Now we have to get the factors of this minus 6 such that addition or subtraction of those factors gives you plus 5, right? So factors of minus 6 will be minus 6 and plus 1. So here we go. 3x square plus 6x minus x minus 2. From here, we take out the common factors. If you see 3x is common from here, then we have x plus 2 is left here. Similarly, Whatever we have got in this bracket, same we write here, x plus 2. Now, we have minus x here and we have x here. That means this x to be multiplied by minus 1. Now, just check, minus 1 into x is minus x, minus and plus is minus, and minus 1 into plus 2 is minus 2. Now, take out the common factors from here. It is x plus 2 and 3x minus 1. Clear? clear. Now we put either x plus 2 is equals to 0 or 3x minus 1 is equals to 0. We have to equate this also equals to 0. Right? Then if x plus 2 is 0 that means x is equals to minus 2. And if 3x minus 1 is 0, that means x is equals to 1 upon 3. That means these are the solutions for this equation. Or we call that these two values of x are the zeros of this equation. Right? That means minus 2 and 1 upon 3 are the zeros. Or we can call them as alpha is minus 2 and beta is 1 upon 3. Right? These are the zeros. Now, we have to verify the relationship between the zeros and the coefficients. Now, zeros we have got of this equation. Now, what are the coefficients? What are the coefficients? Just look here. The general form of quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c is equals to 0. If we equate these two equations, then value of a Value of A is 3, value of B is 5 and value of C is minus 2. Okay. Now we have to verify the relationship. We have to do the verification. Now for verification we have sum of zeros equals to minus b upon a. We can even write it as minus. What is b? b is the coefficient of x. We can write coefficient of x upon what is a from here? a is the coefficient of x square. So we write it over coefficient of x square. Right? Now sum of zeros that means alpha plus beta is equals to minus b upon or similar minus coefficient of x square upon 
coefficient of x. So, right? Now let us do the verification. Alpha plus beta. Let us take left hand side first. Alpha plus beta. What is our alpha? Minus 2. And what is our beta? 1 upon 3. Now on solving alpha plus beta, what do we get? 3 minus 2 plus 1. This becomes minus 1 upon 3. Then we take right hand side. And right hand side is minus b upon a. Or minus coefficient of x upon coefficient of x square. Okay. Now minus. What is b? If you see the equation, this is the equation. What is b? Plus 5. I've written plus 5. Then what is a from the equation? From the equation, what is a? 3. So this becomes minus 5 upon 3. Right? This becomes minus 5 upon 3. And here if we see, here also we have got minus 5 upon 3. Here also we have got minus 5 upon 3. Hence we say that the relation is, relation is verified. I hope this verification is clear to you all. Okay. Bye-bye. See you in the next lecture. Stay safe.